bone tumors as usual any tumor in the body uh, are classified into benign tumors and malignant tumors first of all we will discuss benign bone tumors the most famous benign bone tumors are osteomas Osteoma include three types compact or ivory osteoma osteochondroma and osteoid osteoma first of all we will discuss compact osteoma what is meant by compact osteoma osteoma arise from the compact bone we all know this is uh, the bone of the skull the bones of the skull consists of two layers of dense bone called compact bone and in between there is bone with wide spaces and the trabeculae this bone is called the spongy bone or cancellous bone first of all we will discuss a type of osteoma arise from this dense compact bone which is called compact osteum when you see compact osteoma you will uh, find that it is similar to this the osteoma is nearly similar in color and the shape to this which is called the ivory therefore the other name of compact osteoma is ivory osteoma what is uh, the pathology of compact or ivory osteoma it arises from the bone therefore it arises from the bone forming cells which are called osteoblasts the osteoblasts develops from usually membranous ossification from bones compact bone developed from membrane the most famous bone developed from membranes is the skull therefore usually we see compact ivory tumor developing in the skull what is uh, the gross picture of this uh, ivory tumor ivory tumor may be single or multiple it is rounded in shape sessile sessile which means it has a wide base it arises from bone therefore the consistency is like bone hard in consistency and well defined as any benign swelling any benign swelling is well defined this uh, benign tumor never turn malignant what is uh, the clinical picture of uh, this uh, type of osteoma compact osteoma or ivory osteoma usually arises in the skull and the clinical picture varies according to the site of the tumor if the tumor arises from the outer table of the skull outer table of the skull what is the problem cosmotic disfigure in this patient or the swelling may develop from the inner table of the skull inner table toward the intracranial cavity 
toward the brain leading to increase intracranial pressure it may arise inside the orbit and if this swelling by this size arise in the orbit it will compress the eyeball and uh, leading to protrusion of the eyeball leading to proptosis or maybe squint um, it may arise in the external auditory meters external auditory meters leading to conductive deafness what is uh, the treatment of uh, this condition the treatment of this condition according to the size of the osteoma if uh, the osteoma is small in size we remove the part of the skull carrying this small osteoma small osteoma like this like this we remove the part of skull carrying this swelling by a trephine hole this instrument which remove a rounded part of skull is called the trephine and this hole is called the trephine hole therefore if small remove a part of skull by trephine hole but if the swelling is large like this or this we should remove part of skull bone carrying this large tumor how to remove part of skull carrying this large tumor by anesthesia in the scalp then incision in the scalp then we reach the skull bone in the skull bone we carry multiple holes by this instrument which is called bear and the holes are called bear holes multiple bear holes in the area of skull carrying this large tube then we introduce from one hole this saw and the saw comes out from the neighboring hole and this saw will divide the skull between the two holes this saw is called giggly saw and therefore by multiple bare holes and we divide the bones of the skull between these holes we remove the part of the skull carrying this large tumor this is the first part uh, or the first type of osteoma which is compact or ivory osteoma thank you for good listening and good luck